they say a new viewer hops in the stream every seven seconds on average. So someone out there, this is new to them. Let's show them the Thorn build. This is Necrotic Grip. Last season, Warlocks had a slower melee, but it had one meter advantage. And this meant that your Necrotic Grip would just not trade out, which is the whole point of it. You need it to trade out because melees cause damage over time. That prevents healing. And it has this interesting synergy with Thorn, where if you tap them once with Thorn and then finish the kill with anything else, they blow up. So that's why this works in harmony. Another buff is the Firebolt Grenade, which is a faster grenade, which allows you to use Heat Rises. Then, if you are in the air and succeed with a melee kill, it refills your melee. It gives you about half, though I think they tweaked it so maybe it's a third now. Regardless, it's still really easy to upkeep your melee. So this is Celestial Fire, the Wrist Rockets. And at a cooldown of 5, it's good enough. You have it when you need it. And this can make giant plays and trials because it's one of the few things that can splash a titan behind a barricade. So in those tense situations where you're 1v1ing and they throw up a barricade on a body, you have wrist rockets to keep them weak. This is a build. Uh, the theme I want to really press into this is tempo. By landing shots, I force them to have less health than me and I have a little bit of buffer time to make a smart decision. So now that he's burning, I can just look for the right situation to pull up. Four bullets. Every time. I wanted the rift there so that I could um, put a thorn shot in, immediately fly to the rift, and then reach out. But snipers will do that to me. Since I have both my cooldowns, I don't necessarily have to pop heat rises. I know they have rocket. At least one rocket. So I was surrounded by six players there. Not much I can do. I'm kind of just flying around, trying to make people aim at me, take their time, be evasive so that my teammates can shoot them in the back. And then once we get a couple of them down, we can start playing for map control again. Uh, looks like it's all up to me. This team's just not going to cut it. I don't think even getting that slide off would have worked. Yeah, I'm just going to get mercyed this game. Thanks, team. So they may have the hunt, but we need map control. We can't just sit here and not do anything. Scroll skate just to get that speed. I'm actually glad I missed those shots because now he gets the sunspot. Just keep tapping him with the orange so we have tempo. I want those barricades. Another hunt will come soon. I only have two bullets in my thorn, so that's fine. Or just reload. Yep, 
Yep, want to bait them snipe shots. Okay, my soul devourer. Now I can reach out. Rift goes down. Now I can push just a little bit ahead. Hide the rift. I don't want them to know I have a rift. I just want them to like be forced to re-challenge when I have full health and they're poisoned. They know I have heat rises. I gotta be careful. Nice. Back to back triple caps. My team has turned this around. As long as we don't spawn in the field, I think my teammates know to push forward. For some reason in the field, they like to walk backwards and that leads us to getting farmed. Oh, my fault, my fault. I'll burn my nade to get us out of that. So how did that work? I'll take him to the field if he doesn't want to fight. I think it's worth my rift to get the heat rises to play power. Now I have my melee back. It's pre fired if I need to. Gross. Desync. Players literally instant transmission with that uh, tree. So, Wormy, if for some reason you're watching me right now, that's why you play that class. That's not a normal melee. You're even trying it again. Like, he trusts that his melee is gonna bug out like that. I have all three of my abilities back. Very nice. Soul Devourer, thank you. Let's keep rolling. I'm gonna get my cooldown exactly when I need it. Oh, that was sexy. Nice! I want that orb. I didn't think he got it off. Let's get my GL. My GL has disruption break, so I do more damage with Thorn if I clean up off of it. It also has threat detector for faster swaps and information. Oh, that's what I killed? Keep him weak. Oh, huge. I've charged with light and weapons of light. Two, two tap with thorn? Okay. A real two tap. See ya, super. Oh, let's get my heat rises. Five bullets, is that enough? I see the orb, that's enough. Shit. You're gonna have to run out of ammo soon. Yes! Oh, a poison!
you could have done better. My team turned that around. I actually gave up on him. Shame on me. My shotgun also has swashbuckler, so if I do follow it up, it gets super powered. I think that showed some of the potential. I had to go Ultra Instinct there at the end, in the fields. But there we go, that's my Blast Batu, perk for perk. Disruption Break procs frequently, lets Thorn get the kill, which equals Soul Devourer. Soul Devourer equals two taps on everything that is not six resilience. So if I see a Thorn in my lobby, unfortunately I have to lose one of my Discipline tiers, which does matter, because going from 9 to 10, check this out. Huge difference. That's five seconds for one tier. And you saw, in that last game, I had such a clutch heat rises. So, yeah, it's, do you have a thorn in the lobby? Go six. Since I'm a thorn, some players put it on, like good players, because they want to equalize the tempo gain. If I trade a kill where I shoot them once with the thorn, follow up with the shotgun, and then spread the poison, if my teammates put shots into the other players, my team has enough time to get their health back to full and make a good play because of the thorn burn, the DOT. And this gives you multiple ways to accomplish it. You have your wrist rockets, you have thorn, and you have firebolt as a cleanup. A problem with running an exotic hand cannon is that you do not have Icarus, but since you're playing top tree dawn, you do have Icarus, it just costs your grenade. 29 seconds on the nade. So just a real quick look here, is anybody on Thorn? Because if they're not on Thorn, I'm going back to 10. I hope that makes sense when I explained it. Halfway through that first explanation, I kind of uh, thought of a better way to say it and it messed up. But I hope it makes sense now. Yeah, there is one Thorn, okay. Of course it's Candace. On my team? Oh, on my team. Opponent claimed zone A. Zone C captured. Good trade out. So I hope that they were all poisoned right there. Because that lets my team push up and get more kills, which then equals B flag for us. Good. I'm doing this because I want my nade, and if my teammates benefit from it, so be it. Almost got outgunned there. That is one of those times that I should have used my Blast Batu to threat detector. Two poisons. Zone B captured. Zone there we go. This is going great. So the theme of the day is tempo. What shots are converting my team? Uh, what shots are helping my team make conversions? That's the way to say it. Keeping them weak. Is it worth going for that Soul Devourer and not having mid control? I think it is. Let's see if I get a two tap off of it. Did I win? No, he was still in the rift. I thought he stepped out of it, so that's why I took the fight. I'm gonna defend B with my life. Good shots. Once he threw that nade, I thought I had to dodge again. I messed up.
Once you know that you put in enough damage for a teammate to clean up, just start dodging. Play your life. So I'm going to try to get back in the groove here. Start putting in meaningful damage. Let my team convert more. I hear it. Go now. We took off the shield. Go. Thorn keeps him from rehealing it. One of the soft counters to that. Yeah, my team's afraid. I'll have to do it again. I think they have overshields. I know they have invis. Good shot. I was in movement too. Shit. Once he got that stasis super down, I can't fly through the tornado like I can with Blink. So they just get B-flag for that much longer. I think we got it for now, though. You just cost us power. Come on, Soul Devourer. Did you just pop that in your spawn? And then he solo popped another super on me? Such a weird team. And in that time, my team hasn't gotten B-flag? This is a mistake. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look, he's just popped a super. Let's move, boys. Don't have to be afraid. We're fine. We're good. It's just a super. Do I have to stand on the flag with you to boost your confidence? Do we got this? Get out of the way, I need to use Soul Devourer. Oh, I got flinched off the kill shot. Good on him. Unfortunately, my team's in the spawn, right? So, Candice might be able to thorn him off the power. Might be able to. Yes, let's go. Huge plays.
lost. Go farm this uh, grenade launcher. Pretty good. Those are the kind of, like, what my opponent just did are the kind of teammates that make me want to leave the match. Like, that kind of decision making. Nice. Oh, that was kind of pretty. I kept what, three or four people weak right there? Smoke, smoke. I swear if you headshot me. Oh, I played like garbage in this one. The only reason that that scoreboard looks impressive on my end is because the enemy team decided to sit in their spawn while we had two zones. We had double multiplier and they have nowhere to run once we have shots on them. Like they can't back up more than into the corner. So if they're all together, that means things like thorn proc more often. My grenade launcher gets multis. Grenades find multiple people, that kind of thing. So the alternative for sniper players is to go Nova Warp because it gives you two anti-shotgun options. The first is the handheld supernova, which now pushes people back but does not one hit. However, don't let that fool you because you can still architect people. You can push them into the wall and they'll just die from the impact. The second one is the atomic breach melee. It is a one-shot melee. So you can go like Thorn Snipe and annihilate people with that. I find the shotgunning more consistent because shotgun and melee go hand in hand. So I'm going to try this one more time. The theme of the day is tempo. Is the damage I'm putting him with Thorn meaningful in a way that helped my teammate convert and get map position? Does the one shot of Thorn keep someone weak so that when my teammate rolls around the corner three seconds later, they have to fire one less hand cannon shot? Radiant Cliffs again. I could snipe. Iron Banner. I'm not going to. I think the shotgunning is much more action. It takes a certain team to be able to let me snipe. Most people cannot trade out, so I just need to be doing that for my team. I'm pushing up because I want to be able to read reds. That's why I don't use fusions. Good direct impact. Cost him a nade though, so have fun waiting on that. Play your life.
four bullets. Is that enough? That grenade gave him away. It's not enough. That guy surprised me, so he flew in past all my team. Now, I hate that when I stand on a flag like this, people run towards me like they want to stand on the flag for some reason. It just wastes time when I could have been moving ahead, getting kills on the board, working us towards a triple cap. Oh, there we go. Everybody's getting poisoned now. So... There were two plays to be made there. Either commit to my kill, make it so we have more players than them in mid, or I survive but kill neither of them and maybe my team gets clapped because I leave. I'll help you. Ooh, I gave him Mori. I pushed out a little bit far, but in my defense, I thought the SMG guy was about to roll around the corner with the shoddy. Okay, so let's check my cooldown. I'm half. I think I'm at 9 resilience, so... It's gonna have to be the longer cooldown. Ace down, good. Solved my mistake. Stand on the flag, stand on the flag, stand on the flag, stand on the flag, stand on the flag. Please, please, please. You gotta cancel it. Please. No! I got two of them weak, two of them poisoned. Good, that's one down. Do we get power because of it? We do not. He gets air apparent. Teammate pushed me, so I'm just rolling with it. Beautiful. They have snipers. Like, I really shouldn't be fighting that. He left once he saw I had a rift, so I'm pushing up. He's poisoned, so I have agency to make plays. He might get weakened by my team. Perfect. I think they're going to follow that up if the lightning hit, so I'm going to just back down for a sec. The radar gives away whether or not someone is low or high based on how dark or light the radar is. So that's why I wanted to be in the bottom floor. So I knew immediately. Five minutes left. Sound tactics so far. Keep him poisoned behind his little barricade. Good. It's my soul devourer now. Should be able to take a heat rises to the other side of the map now. Got a little caught there. I got bumped by my teammate outward. Is going to burn out? Oh, that would have been hot if he did. I should have put one more shot instead of trying to uh, dodge out. Maybe shotgunned it. Who would have thought he just went for me? You're going to feel pretty dumb if you don't kill my super. Oh, 
Oh, you glad you saved that missile? If only there was a way to prevent this. Oh, they got the well in the back too. Is it bad that I want to fight it with this score line? What do they have, a daybreak? I hear the forerunner. I got greedy by waiting on my soul. So I should have just pushed. Uh, if you're using a three shot golden gun, you have to hit them in the head. Unless you hit someone else in the head. I felt a lot better about this match. From a well Just put my poison in, let the other five clean up the poison. My goal is to trade out. Because if I trade out, but I leave them poisoned when I trade out, any damage my team did is easier to convert off of. That is what we call tempo. I get full health. They still have to heal. They barricade on a teammate. They want to res it in Trials of Osiris. No, no, no. Shoot the wrist rockets at them. If you do not ever use the fire... Or if you don't use throw distance... You could double proc uh, grenade kickstarter. Go one melee, one grenade. But I feel like I have to have throw distance. And if it put me in this match, I'm playing it. Oh, I'm gonna help them. Okay, you're gonna win? Perfect. So that's probably where I'm spawning, yeah. I wanna be able to pop a heat rises for that power ammo, which means I have to burn the rift, even that one second matters. It was faster than I thought, so it actually didn't matter, but. I don't think pre-firing mattered. I don't have the rate of fire to two-tap that. So getting running away is the play. Create space so that I could maybe two-tap. Being point blank was reliant on him missing. And you just, you don't miss with that super. That was gorgeous. I delayed his healing and then just dodged both of them. Why Blade Barrage is bad? Okay, teammate standing, I hope. Melee desync. I think I have one bullet in my shotgun, so I gotta be careful. 
I'm helping. <laughs> Burned out. One bullet. Is that all I need? Oh no. It didn't combo the way I wanted it to, but whatever. Destiny is more fun when you take those decisions. Oh, I missed the hunter completely. Glad my team found him. Sometimes your gun model and character model or whatnot like completely block somebody. That was one of those times. That's why the DMT ornament, the uh, DMR, it's so it's so big. But I like the sights, so I have to trade that off. Is it worth my rift? Stand on this, anybody? Bueller? Need to survive. Fake it. Poison both. Come on, teammates. Show up to V. Was the edge of the map more important? I can't even kill 10 people in 10 seconds. Ten seconds. Well, I tried. I think I made a giant impact on this match, not gonna lie. But my team didn't want it. Okay, you're gonna take it to the helm. Give me some bows. Be depressed. Because there is no way I get the wolf tones draw that I want. There we go. It's one out of five on the master work to get draw time. Then I have to get archer's tempo and harmony with elastic string. It's so unlikely to get. Handling and reload when allies are nearby, but then this is reload and handling when they're not nearby. I don't like this one, so I'm going to delete it. I have another one with Frenzy that has max draw time, by the way. I think it's an Archer's Tempo one, so it's pretty good. Alright, let's move on to another. Thanks for watching.